Dermot McConnell in a vital interception by Conor Gormley. I mentioned earlier he did it in the All Ireland final of 2003, and he does it again here. Vital, vital interception as Dublin once again opened up their opponent's full back line. Three goal opportunities for Dublin. The signs are ominous as Tyrone have to go forward and waves. Consequently, they're very much exposed back there in that full back line. Ball comes to Stephen O'Neill, Footballer of the Year 2005. Still O'Neill tries to lay it off. Again, Rory O'Carroll this time gets the interception. There's a challenge a little bit late to say the least on Rory O'Carroll and that's a free out for Dublin. But what about this for a goal scoring opportunity as Brogan fed Jim McConnelly. Great, great defending by Conor Gormley. Yeah, wonderful intercept by Gormley. Just got his fingertips to the ball and gets back to recover it critical situation Alan Brogan Barry Cal Michael Dara McCauley will bring James McCarthy into it Kevin Hughes fouls free to Dublin must have been impressed since Stephen O'Neill came on he has a lot of there's plenty of dash and plenty of movement in him and what if, Doug, if Tyrone got a goal in the next couple of minutes <laughs> I think anything is possible in a game like this, but you'd have to say, at this stage, having seen what we've seen, Dublin are the ones closest to that goal at the moment. Oh, yeah, definitely. They should have scored two in the second half and one in the first half, but I still think if Tyrone managed to get a goal, it could put the cat among the pigeons. Brian Doher. Alan Brogan. I have to be impressed with Dublin's work ethic. Michael Dara McCauley, Dear McConnell, Bernard Brogan takes on Joe McMahon for yet another opportunity. Great ball across the face of the goal. There's a chance here for Paul Flynn, and he's going to take his points. He's also collided with the umpire, but the umpire is fine, and he gets to the flag. Paul Flynn's second point of the match. Sean O'Neill, right half back, got a yellow card for that challenge. Confirmation. Yeah, another feature of the Dublin team has been its unselfishness today. That was a great crossfield ball that time from Brogan, it was to Flynn, who finished off at a plow. Dermot Carlin battles hard and gets himself a free. Philip Jordan. Dublin in control. Michael Dara McCauley. Good ball down to Barry Cal. Paul Flynn goes on the run on the outside, but it falls to Dear McConnelly. Onto the right foot, off the top of the crossbar, and Connolly can do no wrong. He can afford a little smirk, a little smile, a little bit of luck about this. But really, to be honest with you, he deserves it. It's a real classy performance by the St. Vincent's man. Seven points, left and right footed. It was worth the admission fee alone to just to see Connolly's display. But once again, so much they're getting so much room in the in the Tyrone defence. Like the movement of the Dublin forward line, you've just got to take your hat off to them. Connolly in particular, Alan Brogan and Bernard Brogan, the three of them are just they're moving all over the place. And the Tyrone defence simply don't have the legs, they don't have the covering player to help them out. But anytime it's one on one. Dublin have made the most of it. Ger Brennan. Rory O'Carroll. Sean Campbell. Gives it quickly to Brian Dewar. Owen Mulligan comes out to gather. Goes back to Kevin Hughes. Dermot Carlin. Coming forward from corner back position. Penrose throws that one over the bar for his second point. Tyrone may be struggling, but they certainly haven't given up. They're going to introduce a double substitution. That's Ender McGinley wearing number 25, and Aidan Cassidy coming on. 
Kevin Hughes, one of the players, making way. Obviously, Ender McGinley coming into center field. The other player going off is Colum Kavner. I thought Colum Kavner started quite well today, but he hasn't gone into the game, I'd say, from just after the first quarter, and it's no surprise that he substituted. Kevin Hughes also was overrun, really, today in the middle of the field. The first day I've seen him, you know, really suffering in, the, in, in, in that area. Stephen Cluxton speak out his end with Michael Darrell McCauley. Not too sure, to be honest with you, what was that for, but Joe McQuillan gives the free to Terrell. Sean O'Neill wants to take it quickly. Brian Dewar, just a shot at the moment. Goes instead to Stephen O'Neill. Gets away from Keanu Sullivan. Difficult angle. Great shot. Quality score. By one of the true heroes of Tyrone football over the last 10 or 12 years. It is, of course, Stephen O'Neill. Yeah, and how often have we seen that shot? That's a wonderful score by Stephen O'Neill. Any time he's got the ball since he's come in, he's been very effective. He's got a little bit more supply to him, and he has the capacity to do damage to the ball. Michael Fitzsimons. Michael Dara McCauley. This is the man who made his championship uh, debut last year. Pass back for his Barry Cahill picked up. Basket. Paul Flynn. Nice ball over towards Michael Dara McCauley. Taking on Connor Gormley. There's confidence. Gormley brings him down. And Tyrone continue to be under siege and under pressure. Michael Dara McCauley taking on no less a player or defender than Connor Gormley. They're just not able to withstand the intensity or the drive of the Dublin players any time they're on after. 17 point score for Dublin, 16 from play. Stephen Cluxton and Bernard Brogan, the only players to score from a free. Just for clarification, in case you've just joined us, Stephen Cluxton scored from a 45. Well, here's Pat Gilroy, he's going to be 42 years of age in nine days' time. Born in Marino in Dublin, he is certainly has done a really good job and will be well pleased if Dublin can maintain their control of this quarterfinal. Is it Dublin against Donegal? The end of August. Alan Brogan. To Bernard. Jim McConnell. Goes for the cross instead. Barry Carr. He's been known to score goals down at this end. Here he comes. Takes his point. Barry Carr's first point in this All Ireland quarter final. But you know what? He deserves it. His work ethic, his total concentration at times unselfishness rewarded with and a good score yes and the unselfishness also of Deer McConnelly that time and the vision of Deer McConnelly has to be applauded as well he saw uh, Cahill coming up on the overlap fed him at a beautiful point and the result excellent score from Cahill ball knocked down Brian Cullen gets it back to Ger Brennan floats one in front of the forward to run on to Deer McConnelly Gorman at times chasing shadows at this stage Alan Brogan Bernard Brogan, Philip Jordan picking up the crumbs, lays it off as Martin Swift, and once again it is Tyrone that won't give up. Stephen O'Neill to Mark Donnelly, still Donnelly, surrounded by three Dublin players, nowhere to go. Comes back outside to Stephen O'Neill, beautiful pick up by Stephen O'Neill, brought down Martin Swift. And the referee's whistle finally goes. Yeah, just James McCarthy that time. A little bit over exuberant in his tackling. No need to go in so aggressively. Hands an opportunity to Martin Penrose. Martin Penrose to take this. He's positioned just inside the 45-metre line. There he is. And here he comes. Third point for Martin Penrose. This is beautiful. Under pressure. Lovely play by Stephen O'Neill.
Barry Carr. Cleverly retaining possession, particularly when the pressure was coming towards him. Kevin Nolan. Alan Brogan. Bernard on the turn. This one is going wide. 17 points scored from play by any standards is a good day's work by any team. Uh, yeah, but the approach play also at Dublin has been outstanding. Their defending has been magnificent. It's been a tour de force by Dublin, the best we've seen from them in many years. It's a game that they have been looking for for a number of years against ter uh, or against you know the top-rated opposition. And by God, they have got it today in spades. You just saw that Ross McConnell is coming on for Michael Darren McCauley. Midfield area, Philip Jordan tried to accelerate past the incoming challenge. Referee didn't like it. Ball taken quickly by Brian Dewar. This is a good ball. Here comes a chance. It's O'Neill surrounded. Cuxton gets a boot to it and a toe to it. And it's sufficient to clear the line. Stephen Cuxton is still down injured, but Dublin come away with it. Barry Cobb. That has been the first and really only opportunity of a goal for Tyrrell. That I can remember at least. Alan Brogan chasing Dermot Carlin. Still Brogan. Free to Dublin. Jamie Macker's, uh, Berger, or, or Alan Brogan's handling has been just magnificent today. Controlling the skinny ball. Just watch this situation here. O'Neill just wanted to get the ball onto his left foot, trod it out at the last second. Great defending once again from uh, Dublin. Wonderful defending by Dublin. They were under pressure. Cluxton did uh, what any good goalkeeper should do and just get it out of the danger zone. And here he is now coming up to take this free. Made his very first appearance for Dublin back in 2001, May 27th. He was only 19. Played against Longford. Now, of course, 29 years of age and could well surpass John O'Leary. 70 consecutive championship matches and Stephen Cluxton gets his second point of the match and now puts him with eight points in the championship campaign so far well, he's 20 been, points for them yeah he's been a model of consistency I mean his kickouts are a thing of legend and they're you know the disguise that he can put on his kickouts are wonderful but he's added to that the accuracy from long range freeze this year some goalkeeper Sean Kavner going up with Kevin Nolan. Referee didn't like the challenge, so free quickly taken. Sean O'Neill coming through the centre is Martin Penrose. Stephen O'Neill.